Hey everybody and welcome to episode 423 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, December 5th, 2018. Ricky's, uh, Ricky's eating some smart food. Yeah, smart trying to food. get smarty. And, uh, you know, how's, how's that working out for you? I'm actually getting dumb here. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Ricky, the new Captain Marvel trailer just launched the other day. Did you have a look? I did. What are your thoughts? I really like how they extended the grandma fight scene. Yes, I'm they, they uh, took the shock value out of the grandma punch in the face. So now that you can see that that grandma was actually a scroll, which, yeah. you know. Or the, we don't even know yet. She didn't transform. Could just be a very acrobatic grandma. Could be. Could be. Maybe she has mutant abilities and uh, she's able to withstand crushing head blows to the pole <laughs> yeah. of a uh, bus in transit. Um, you know, like the Mohawk uh, helmet thing? Yeah. That was introduced in Kelly Sue DeConnick's run, right? Do you think yeah. she's getting like paid for that? I would imagine so. Man, that's sweet. I gotta like go to Marvel and like make a small little change in character that becomes really, really you, big. You know what's crazy though? Like this this Captain Marvel outfit that's gonna be in the movie mm -hmm. uh, first debuted in I think it was Avenging Spider-Man number nine right. back in 2011. Copies of that book are selling like if you have a graded copy of that book, it's selling for like a thousand bucks. You know, what's and the sucks? movie's not even out yet. I was collecting Avenging Spider-Man up until that issue. That's the oh, one issue I didn't get. Oh man! I know. I know. Fatal, that? fatal error on your part. I know. Anyway, Ricky, we got lots to get to this week. Let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, first up this week, we've got Unnatural issue number five. Got a couple covers for that book. Archie meets Batman '66 number five. Star Trek versus Transformers number three. Power Rangers: Soul of the Dragon. This is an original graphic novel, and uh, this the book has the pleasure of having as its set, uh, special consultant Jason David Frank. Here's a new one from Kieran Gillen and Image Comics. It is Die, issue number one. We've got Grim Fairy Tales, number 24. Crowded, issue number five. Rick and Morty, Dungeons and Dragons, issue number three. The Walking Dead, issue 186. We've got a new one from Mark Millar and Raphael Albuquerque and Image Comics. It is called Prodigy, issue number one is here. This is the first of several covers. Here's a couple more, a couple more, and a couple more. And you could see from the back that there's a heavy Netflix influence on Mark Millar's books these days. All right, moving on to Marvel, we got some awesome, fantastic four True Believers books out this week. Uh, here's two of them, and here's the third. Star Wars Age of Republic. Qui-Gon Jinn, issue one, here's the regular cover, and two variants. Star Wars 58 and the action figure variant. Spider-Geddon Handbook, this uh, features lots of information and data on the different Spider-Men and Spider-Women in the Spider-Verse. Avengers Prelude, issue number one of three. Infinity Warps, issue number two. Deadpool's getting a little festive in Deadpool issue number seven. We've also got a versus Conan variant, paying tribute to Conan the Barbarian, soon to be back on the shelves with a Marvel logo on the front. X-Men The Exterminated, The Merry X-Men Holiday Special, Spider-Man Deadpool number 43, Uncanny X-Men number four, and the action figure variant for X-Men 4. Venom issue number nine, Winter Soldier issue number one, Marvel Knights number three, Immortal Hulk number 10, Doctor Strange issue number 9, Immortal Hulk Defenders issue number 1. This is part of, uh, part 1 of the best defense. And uh, this book's getting a little bit of buzz online because it features a remastered Jack Kirby panel featuring Stan Lee's writing. So now we don't have repurposed art only on covers. We have it on the interiors in the panels of stories as well. Here's another example. Here's the Scotty Young variant. Here is Namor Defenders, the best defense issue number one, and the Scotty Young cover for that book. And finally from Marvel today, we've got Killmonger issue number one, and here is the variant cover. 
All right, moving on to DC Comics, we've got Batman The Max Arkham Dreams, issue number three. Here's Green Arrow number 47, this is the variant cover. Red Hood and the Outlaws number 29, the variant cover for that book. Here's Harley Quinn, issue number 55. Nightwing number 54. Green Lantern, issue number two. A lot of people were uh, very excited about Green Lantern uh, relaunching with a new number one under Grant Morrison uh, last, what, a few weeks ago. A lot of people are now looking forward to reading issue two. And here's the issue 2 variant. Deathstroke issue number 38. A new 12 issue miniseries starting today uh, featuring Martian Manhunter. This is issue number 1. Here's the variant cover. Justice League issue 13. Here's the variant by Jay Lee. Doomsday Clock issue number 8 of 12. Regular cover and the variant. Here's Batman issue number 60. Here's the Batman number 60 variant. Jeff Johns reunites with his Justice Society of America uh, pal Dale Eaglesham as the illustrator on Shazam issue number one. A lot of people excited about Shazam right now in pop culture. And hopefully this book will give fans what they crave uh, before the movie gets released. This is the regular cover and here's the variant by Gary Frank. All right, prize time. Last week I asked you for uh, your best Avengers 4 trailer spoiler. Uh, and uh, FYI, the trailer never dropped, so I'm so disappointed. And not only Marvel, but in the world in general. Uh, I feel like I can't trust anyone anymore. Uh, although they did launch that uh, Captain Marvel trailer, so that's fine. I don't know. Hopefully, the rumor is tomorrow now, so it's too many rumors, dude. Anyways. Uh, one kid posse said, Avengers 4 spoiler, at the end of the movie, Deadpool wakes up and thinks that the whole Marvel movie universe was just one of his dreams. But as the camera pulls back, we see Deadpool is in a straitjacket and Jean Grey is standing next to him. Jean Grey tells Deadpool that his dream was really a false memory that she implanted in his brain in order to distract him so that the X-Men could capture him. And then Deadpool's like, WTF, it all seems so real. Wow. That, that's all in the trailer? That's, that's mind-blowing. Crazy stuff. But the winner goes to Dominic Rocco who said Captain America gets seriously injured and has a blood transfusion. Later finds out he has werewolf blood and becomes Cap Wolf and helps defeat Thanos. The Avengers love his new strength but are tired of putting down newspapers for him at their headquarters. Oh, because Captain America now pisses on the floor. <laughs> so, I mean, he's probably the strongest being in the universe now. He's werewolf Captain America, but he also pees on the floor. Congratulations, Dominic Rocco. You'll be entered into the draw that'll be happening at the end of this month. So, uh, what I need to know from you for this week's question is uh, this Christmas was severely lacking uh, fanboy Santa. I don't know where he is. So, we need from you the best way to summon fanboy Santa. What do you think is the easiest way to summon fanboy Santa? Is it you know, cutting up some comics, laying them down in a pentagram, perhaps? Maybe like burning some boxes, I don't know. Let us know in the comments the best way to summon Fanboy Santa and the winner will be entered into the draw and maybe, who knows, maybe Fanboy Santa will show up one day. Who knows? Alright everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check out all of our awesome stuff that we have for sale. Collector's packs, exclusive variants, your soul, and more over at StadiumComics.com Check out this guy's stuff at LimePressOnline.com. Yes, so, Ricky? Yeah, how, much, how much is my soul going for you? It's negotiable, Ricky. All right. Okay. LimePressOnline.com, everybody. Uh, you can connect with us on all the socials, uh, searching for Stadium Comics. And we'll see you guys all next week for episode 424. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics.